people in this video let us look at the classification of anti epileptics in this video we are going to look at chemical classification okay chemically okay don't get scared i will make it as simple as possible for you to pass so here you can see hydantoin this is going to be very important for you example is phosphenetoin phosphenetoin anyways is water soluble it will convert to phenytoin after you take it okay so this one is very important hydantoin example phosphenetoin phenytoin these are very important for you okay good phenytoin phosphenetoin is water soluble good is this much clear so you need to know this one hydantoin phosphenetoin phenytoin they will definitely ask you uh, phenytoin because phenytoin is the prototype for this group fine so you have to know phenytoin it what is it it's a hydantoin just to confuse you some some more i can tell you it's called as phenytoin sodium what exactly it is it is a di it's a diphenyl hydantoin okay it's a diphenyl hydantoin okay diphenyl hydantoin got it the next most most important one is this one aminostilbene carbamazepine now why this is so important let me tell you see this aminostilbene carbamazepine carbamazepine is the first choice of drugs first line of drug for generalized tonic clonic seizures and partial seizures or focal seizures example simple and complex for those three for those three that is uh, grand mal epilepsy and partial seizures like simple and complex carbamazepine is very important now that is why i am telling you remember carbamazepine i told you carbamazepine is the most 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 important drug let me make it super big for you carbamazepine is an immunostilbene it is the most important one it's the first choice of drug first line of drug for anti epileptic whenever anti epileptic comes in your mind you should think about carbamazepine this is what we are giving okay phenytoin is only a prototype fine ne next thing you should know is this one valproic acid this is uh, aliphatic carboxylic acid it's also called a sodium valproate this is the most important drug you have to remember it is aliphatic carboxylic acid valproic acid is the first line of drug for absence seizures and myoclonic seizures absence seizures is also called as petit mal epilepsy correct yes it's called petit mal epilepsy okay so valproic acid you should know it is an aliphatic carboxylic acid are you awake or you need something to make you awake are you able to focus what did i teach you till now hydantoin phosphenytoin phenytoin phosphenytoin is the pro drug phenytoin is the final uh, metabolite um, active metabolite you can say that you need actually phenytoin is uh, also called as diphenyl hydantoin Aminostilbene, carbamazepine. Don't get confused with carbamazepine. Carbamazepine, zepine sounds more like um, a uh, zepine sounds more like what? Yes, like a benz benzodiazepine, but it is not. Okay, it is a aminostilbene. Okay, and it is the first line of drug for epilepsy. Aliphatic carboxylic acid, valproic acid is for what? Valproic acid. I already told you it is for. myoclonic seizures and absence seizures yes then coming to benzodiazepines very 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 important benzodiazepine i will tell you what to focus on focus on diazepam lorazepam actually lorazepam is more important lorazepam then comes diazepam correct let me check again once again that's right guys benzodiazepine lorazepam diazepam very 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 important how can i highlight this for you dark brown is fine benzodiazepine examples are lorazepam diazepam these are very important status epilepticus these are drug of choice for status epilepticus fine then you have cyclic gaba analogs cyclic gaba analogs you have gabapentin pregabalin so you have to know these also chemically chemically you should know them okay cyclic gaba analogs gabapentin trigabalin you can know then newer drugs you can write this is not exactly chemical topiramate zonisamide some other names not actually important okay you can write all this vigabatrin you will anyways learn vigabatrin tiagabin all this you need to know what and all you need to know tiagabin you need to know are you able to see shall i move it down hope you are able to see now tiagabin 
Vigabatrin, all these are important. Gabapentin, free gabalin are important. Benzodiazepines, lorazepam, diazepam, important. Aliphatic carboxylic acid, valproic acid, also called as sodium valproate, important. Immunostilbene, carbamazepine, the most important one here. Hydantoin, phenytoin, it is a prototype drug, you need to know that. Then one more thing I will focus on here is barbiturate, phenobarbiton, okay. Please learn this one. Barbiturate is just wherever benzodiazepines are, they're, they're everywhere they'll exist. They, I think they just go hand in hand. So, please remember that barbiturate, you have to write phenobarbiton. Did you get the chemical classification? Okay, so let me move this barbiturate down here. Guys, we are revising now. Please focus here. Wake up, please. Classification of anti-epileptics, chemical classification. The first one you will write is hydantoin. It is examples are phosphenatoin and phenytoin. Immunostilbene, carbamazepine is very, very important. Then you have aliphatic carboxylic acid, valproic acid, or, so, or it's also called a sodium valproate. Benzodiazepines, lorazepam, diazepam, barbiturates like phenobarbiton. Then you have uh, cyclic GABA analogs, gabapentin, free gabalin, newer drugs like vigabatrin, tiagabin, zonisamide, etc. Please remember one more thing. Uh, sorry, I have to add one more here. Succinamide, ethosuximide is important. Why? Because uh, this actually has, um, when you see mechanism of action and other things, you will see that ethosuximide can be used for absence seizures. That's the only place you will use it actually. Ethosuximide you will use for absence seizures. That's petit mal epilepsy. And also ethosuximide is the only one which has some kind of unique mechanism of action along with valproic acid. So, ethosuximide is actually going to inhibit the calcium uh, wave, calcium channel, right? Calcium current, okay? It is going to inhibit the calcium current. So, you need to know ethosuximide also. Is this clear? Very good. So, chemical classification done. We will meet in the next video for clinical classification.